Aluru is actually the name of a bird. This bird is a, it's a kind of delicacy, like chicken or turkey or something like that. And it's from up north in Acholi, Acholi land. And uh, it's a lullaby to a child. So they're saying the mom is going to the garden or to the well or somewhere to work. But when she comes back, she's going to prepare her that delicacy. So it's basically telling the child to have hope, not to cry, that your mom is not going out to work in vain. When she comes back, she's going to give you a little good treat. So stay happy. Actually, Aluru is based on a traditional folk lullaby. So a couple of words in there were interjected, but most of them are already existent on the folk tune. But the folk tune was more sort of basic and like a loop, just going over and over again. But I just liked it, and I'm more in touch with my mom's culture, which is uh, the Acholi culture from Gulu. So I wanted to do a little something from there as well. grown up north for a barrio of my grandfather. So I was listening to lots of uh, songs and tunes and guys playing traditional instruments in the north. And I had some guys singing it. And my mom had sung it for us while we were kids before. So I sort of linked up with it. And then I asked her to jot down the words for me. Then we put different words as well. And then decided to make it. Aluru in general is more than just speaking to a child to have uh, to keep quiet because their mom is coming back and stuff. It's it's a whole story of hope because as a child, your parents being away from you sort of puts in that situation of vulnerability. You feel like they're not around. You you're sort of alone, but you have hope that they'll be back and things will be fine. So that's the whole story of life. You may be going through trouble going through this and the other but there's there's hope although uh, the hope is is existent but you've got to do something about it you're going to just stay there crying and wailing you have to do something about it so then you can change your future because I can't blame somebody for their past or for the for what they're born into or where they are or blah 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 but I can't blame you for not doing anything about it and not changing your future When I was still in school doing my degree, you get a situation when you think, I think there's a problem here right now. Uh, things are not going really well with books and stuff. So regardless of the fact that your mom is going to come back and create you a good something, you're not going to just sit there crying. Talent is not the only thing. You've got to work on your skill. Because having the talent, that's inborn. But uh, nurturing your skill, that really is up to you and your hard work and then putting it out there. So there's lots of things involved in it. I don't I've never eaten it, it's so strange. And I made a song out of it and I've never eaten it. Yeah. No, I haven't. 